How are you? Hope you're well. Thanks for watching this posting. This is about weaves. I wanted to talk about weaves. Weaves and weaves. I recently done um, a couple of pictures with one of our clients, Ruby, and I've put, put it out there how we feel about wigs and weaves. And I just thought I'd like to do a follow up on it. So you're very clear on our position. Um, we celebrate African hair. We love African hair. Now, before I knew better, I used to wig it. I used to weave it. And I used to wig it straight. Ne curly was just never an option. And um, I realized initially when I came into the industry that um, being natural, like there were words and languages used. And yes, there are people who kind of, um, with sometimes without realizing, or could be harsh or judgmental. But I need you to know when we at Bespoke Hairstyles, m &H, celebrate our African hair and say, bin the wig, bin the weave, we do it for a reason. We do not do it to alienate anyone. We do not do it to judge anyone. We do it because we love our African hair. And we do not understand why you would choose not to enjoy your African hair. Because once you understand how to work with your hair, you need to invest that time into your hair to understand how fabulous it can be. Why would you want to wear another race's hair? It doesn't make sense. An Asian woman every day comes and sits next to your Chinese woman or Caucasian woman, sits next to you in the office or sits, sits across the room looking at you, smiling, looking for professional. But she hasn't got her own hair on. She's got your kinky, curly African hair or your sister locked hair wig on. Would you take her seriously? Now, she might say when you ask her, I'm doing it for convenience. But really? Really? That would be a bit odd. I, the first question I would ask is, well, what's wrong with your hair? Oh, she says, nothing's wrong with my hair. But in my head, I'm like, yeah, nothing's wrong with your hair. Of course, nothing's wrong with your hair. You just want to look like me because you're jealous. You just want to look like me. But it's freaking me out because I'm staring at you, looking at you, and you've got my hair, but it doesn't match your features. This doesn't make sense. This is what happens every day. You might say it's convenience, but this is what the other race is seeing. And we need to recognize that. And we need to recognize that basically people who normally weave with straight hair believe that is more beautiful. Because why would you dress your hair in an ugly way? So you, you're not using your own hair. You're not wearing your hair. You're not enjoying your own hair because you think your hair is ugly. Now, this posting is for the silent ones. The ones who are wearing a wig or weave and it's feeling wrong. Because basically, if you're a weaver and you love your Caucasian, Perusian look, this video, you would not even see it. It would not even matter to you. It would not affect you. But it would affect you if you're thinking there is something not quite right with me doing this. Covering my hair every day with a different hair texture, not trying to deal with my hair. And really, when you examine it, you think your hair is ugly. And it's just time to accept that. But you can change it because it happened to all of us. That's why I can talk about this comfortably. The worry for us is people sit in the chair with ball patches, with hair loss. And they want us to style them fabulous, you know, give them density. But they don't understand. The pictures you're seeing of people are people who stopped years ago and it has recovered. But it's a journey. You cannot wig your hair into growth, hair growth. You cannot weave it into hair growth. If you cover grass, the grass will stop growing. When you take away whatever you've used to cover that grass, there's a patch. And it takes the longest time for that patch to grow, recover. It's the same thing that's happening with the hair. Stop weakening your follicles by wearing the weave. And when you're ready to go natural, be patient because that stylist is a natural hair stylist. The natural hair stylist can only deal with what's naturally on your head. So where you're thinking, oh, I'll cover it until I grow back, it won't work. And it applies, the same applies to sister locks. So if you're thinking, oh, I'm a bit worried about the, the, the spacing of the sister locks, or oh, I'll wig it. We just wouldn't, it would just, that relationship just wouldn't happen here. That, that wouldn't work here because we've learned that when you wig your sister locks, when you wig your locks, it grows long and thin. And it just doesn't look as full as fabulous as when light grass, you leave the, the you leave your locks out and let the air hit it and let the spritz, the water get to it. Then it begins to look fabulous. So you have to put the wig down. So this is for those who are thinking, I need, I need a change. I don't know what to do. I need a change. Here is a space. 
when we say we celebrate an Afri our African hair and we bend the wig, it's because we want to bend the wig. It's because we want to celebrate African hair. It is not to judge anyone or to put anyone down or to be harsh. I mean, people say they want to switch it up and change their hair and the versatility. Versatility of your own hair is different from versatility of wearing different wigs because clowns do that. You can change wigs. Um, but why are you trying to switch it up into Caucasian look? That, that's the question. And the reason why I ask that question, because it's happened that we sat with people who are in, you know, a professional field and they really, really deep down believe that when they take that wig off, that they have less of a chance of being successful. And the reality is, it's only black people who care about black people's hair. What white people care about, what any other race cares about, is can you do the job? They might notice your skin colour, but your hair, if it's all swept back and it's looking professional, nobody cares. We are the only ones. And let me tell you what worries me, is that in the continent, there's more people weaving up and wigging up their hair than even in the dia diaspora. At least we're becoming aware, because obviously we, I guess we have a different perspective. And it's a bit sad that the changes you come, needs to come from out here to influence in there. But if a whole race of people, like if you went to the Asian continent, and all of them were wearing African hair wigs and weaves, and even in the diaspora, they were wearing African hair wigs, it would look strange. And I'm tired of just kind of um, people lashing out. I can I see it on Facebook where people lash out and they're like, you know, natural was judging. You should have, wear your hair anyhow. That's fine if your hair is growing healthily and you're never going to sit in a stylist chair and you're just going to deal with your hair. And this, this, this wouldn't be even, this conversation you wouldn't be, you wouldn't watch because you look after your hair. It's, it doesn't concern you. It concerns those who are thinking of sitting in a stylist chair and want their hair to be treated nicely and want their hair to be full and want to walk away enjoying their hair. The first step into moving into this much more natural, healthy lifestyle is to accept what your, the limitations of your hair and be patient and wait for your hair to grow. It will not happen overnight. I recognize that um, we are, um, Get and I are, are those who are quiet. Um, I mean, I, I try and represent you who don't comment, who, who don't really click on like, but you're following and you're getting it and you're passionate about it, but you don't have a voice because you feel like if you start talking, people are going to be like, you're judging, um, people who wear weave, wear, who wear weave or who wear wigs. But we're not. We're just celebrating ourselves. And if that helps inspire the next generation or even anyone, if that helps inspire anyone, then it's worth the, it's worth recording this 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 video and putting it out there, and I really believe that you must take ownership of your hair. So if your partner is telling you, oh, they like your hair long, or they like your hair with the weave, and they like the Caucasian look, but they're not wearing the weave, they don't know what it's like to wear the weave and have it attached to their hair every day, eight hours a day, then they don't qualify. So unless you are a man who weaves your hair. Um, then you can then comment and say, yeah, I want, you know, I would like your hair to be like that. But really, it's, for, from my perspective, it's time for us to take ownership of this situation. No other race cares about our hair. We need to make a decision and make a lifestyle change. But we need to start talking about it and not apologizing, it, apologizing for it. I repeat, when I say bin the wig, I'm saying to those people who are thinking about it, who are at that point where they're looking for transition to bend the wig and bend the weave. If you are happy with your weave and your hair is growing fabulously and you're not worried about it, then this wouldn't be a post for you. So you who is looking for a change, this might just be the place you, you would find the answer. Because when we post the pictures, we post the pictures in real time so that you see how we black women professional are enjoying our African hair. And there are so many healthy options, so many endless healthy options. But there is something about the structure of our curls. Everybody, you'll see the images, everybody's hair is different. And when we cover our hair or try and straighten it, that unique structure, character of our hair is being hidden. It's being taken away. And that's what gives us the character. It's like our curves. So let your hair out. Celebrate your hair and don't apologize for it. I represent that 0.1% of the 
of people. Because in the real world out there, we know there's many, many, many more people we awake. And so collectively, you have louder voices. So I'm for the little people, the people who don't have much of a loud voice. And they really want to say, I don't like wigs. I don't like wigs. Because it does nothing for my, it does nothing for my soul. It does nothing for my mental state. It does not feed me. It does not make, allow me to grow. I want my follicles to be strong. I want my mind to be strong. I want to represent who I am. I am the African girl. The African girl who came to England, who had a heavy accent, and I realized I had to change the way I sounded and mirror and um, fit in. And so I did successfully. And uh, But at home, I would relax my tongue and speak the way I, I naturally sound with my African accent. And when I go out, I speak... Uh, slightly better, I sound slightly better, I, I, I kind of fit in. That, that's who I represent, and that's what I'm finding is coming here. So when you come here, you just relax, and you just say what you want to say with no judgment, and those are the people I represent, the people who understand that. Out there, we've got to adapt. But when we're together, we can relax our tongue and be ourselves. Um, and that's it I wanted to say. Be in the wig, be in the weave. Link up, you can follow in silence. So many people are call it, calling, we're following in silence. One year later, they call us. Um, and then we're here to just kind of support you and look after you. Thank you for watching this posting. And take care of you. Bin the wig, bin the weave. Bye. Ah, well, Monosafel SK, original.